Hey guys, welcome back into some Anno 1800. I'm having a bit of a laugh because I just hit record, and as soon as I did, Benta, um, Von Malking, and Anne all wanted to give me money. Then I had an explosion, and then I had something pop up about trade, and I had 10,000 things happen at once. I just hit stop recording, and I just sat there like, are we done? Are we done now? Are we done yet? Can I, can I talk? So it looks like we're done, and we can talk. So let me rebuild this dude. Okay, that's all fixed. Anyways, welcome back into some Anno 1800 and welcome into apparently a snow day. Um, apparently, the snow is happening in the game today for Earth Day. Today the is Earth Day. Buildings and abandoned. their way of celebrating it was snow. Uh, why? I, I'm not entirely sure. But that's what they decided to do for Earth Day was have the snow come back into uh, the old world and Cape Trelawney. So, you know, hey, it, it's a it's a thing. Sure. Okay. The fire has been vanquished. All right. Anyways, uh, some fun news for you guys. Um, me, in my brilliant wisdom, and I'm totally a professional YouTuber. I know exactly what I'm doing all the time. I just realized I can pause recording. Uh, I can actually pause the recording and restart the recording without creating a new uh mp4 file well a uh, new video file so what that means for you all is we can as i can start laying out and i can start laying out and working on some new districts and different things right there on camera and then i can pause and go in there and do all my fiddling around and i kind of mess around with stuff for a little while and really and do some stuff with it restart the recording to show you what i've done and then we can work on it some more together pause the recording if i see that some stuff's going to take a while and so on and so forth so that means that we can get a whole lot more done in an entire in a one episode because before you know i'm recording for like an hour at a time and then i'm playing for like nine hours off camera um not really building anything but doing all sorts of expeditions and all kinds of different stuff so this will let me pause the recording work on some stuff and if something interesting happens i can restart the recording and we can do some stuff together and then i can go back to what i need to do that i might not want to do on camera because it's uh boring tedious you know whatever have you kind of stuff so i'm excited about that let me know what you think about that idea we're gonna kind of try it out with this episode right here and see how it goes and see what it's like and if it works out then i'll keep doing it if it doesn't work out and you know i'm not a fan of it then we'll stop doing that and i'll go back to a different uh, setup but this might give a little uh this might be a little interesting of a of an idea that we have to go with here so we're just going to give it a shot the only thing i don't like about the snow is it makes everything a lot darker like it's real dark for some reason looking Okay, so I've been kind of fiddle around with these docks right here a little bit more. I added ourselves in a, uh, a lovely little lighthouse right here. Say hi to our new lighthouse. So we've got that going. I haven't really done much else with this. Um, yeah, I really haven't done much with that. I can't remember anything I have done specifically. There's not been a whole lot I've done specifically. Just because and I've been toying around with trying to get some layouts going over here that I like, but I'm not super happy with them i did build a bicycle factory but i only built it to supply our world's fair with a few things so it looks like a world's fair has 13 minutes left on the prep i'm going for the mythical artifacts if you are not aware how the world's fair works each of these chests has different um available items in them some of them overlap some do not you can go to the Anno 1800 wiki. Uh, you could just Google that. Just Google Anno 1800 wiki. Look up World's Fair rewards and you can see the different levels and what comes in each chest. I need a bunch of stuff from the mythical artifacts. So I'm turning off one thing from these uh, goods that can be delivered for the attraction. And then that gives me the exactly what I need for the mythical chest. So we're, we're going to keep farming for that. And keep going for that right there. Uh, what else we got? It's come up a couple of expeditions happening. We got a three-star zoological. It's a bear attack, so let's attack the blocking bear. Wonderful. And send you on your way. And a two-star pirate hunt. 
Uh, it's a perilous plunge, only an elastic tangle of vines sparing them to drop. The problem now is they're suspended, uh, suspended above a ravine. Uh, let's try to slash with the saber. It's a sword swishing masterclass. Wonderful. And we shall continue on the journey. Okay, so some plans I have going forward is I I want to redesign the World's Fair area. Surely, but I I didn't know this, and someone mentioned this, and then I forgot. The World's Fair building right here is a um, is a it's not an exact repl replica, but it is in homage to the crystal palace which was built in the late eight the uh yeah, the late 1800s in london and it is an homage to the crystal palace which was part of the uh world's fair exhibit there and it was moved around and eventually it did burn down uh in the 1930s i believe or 1940s it did it burnt down basically so i was looking at the layout for the world's for the crystal palace and it had some neat design concepts around it that I think would actually look really, really cool. So I am probably going to redesign our entire World's Fair area. I'm thinking, you know, we're going to move this guy around. We're going to get him into a different, uh, different orientation, possibly. Yeah, we can get him into this orientation. That way, what I would I really consider the front, like this right here, is facing the facing down there I, I have some neat ideas for it so i'm thinking that very soon we're going to redesign this entire section move some houses around and use the the uh, original crystal palace in london as an example of what i want it to look like so that's something we want to do i'm also going to be moving the palace uh, we'll probably work on that this episode get the palace moved and cross my fingers that the uh <laughs> that at the range reaches where I need it to. If not, then we may have to uh, mess with that a little bit. And I want to continue right here. This is kind of my new focus, is this area of town right here, which is probably what we will be working on today. Work on this, possibly work on the palace. This, I don't know yet. This might be, this, we might do this. Depends on how much time I have. So let's, uh, let's stop chatting about it. And let's make something happen here. Let's get some layouts happening. Uh, also, want to look and see what we're gonna what we're gonna need for productions. Looks like we do need logs, though. At some point, I'm going to have to move all of our logging industry and do something with the logging industry, because goodness gracious me, this is getting out of control with the logs. Okay. All right, all goods, work clothes, okay, sausages. Hmm. How's sausages looking in the here? It's not bad. Everything else. Light bulbs is going down. I think that's one that I kept watching to see what it was doing. Oh, well, now it's actually doing okay. Hmm, interesting. Why didn't I think of this? Two engineers and 31 coins. A comely locale. Eight investors and 78 coins. It might be worth just turning this off. I mean, we've got a ton of engineers. Yeah, it might be worth turning that off, actually. Let's see what it, let's see what happens. To, I'm not worried about our income. Our income is insane. I'm, I just want to watch our engineer workforce here and see what they do by turning that off, just to help the supply of light bulbs. We are reaching a maximum potential on the gramophones, so. And I need my gramophones down in this area just because we do have uh, Professor Ram Devi. 
Interesting. He affects light bulbs, factories, and gramophones. I forgot he did light bulbs as well. Produces extra glass. This is only affecting those two. I think all my light bulb factories are over here, aren't they? I, m I might be kind of thinking of something too much. Yeah, there's three there. Okay, never mind. All three of my light bulb factories are over here. Okay, for some reason I thought they. I, I thought for some reason I thought I moved them down here. Okay, that one right there actually doesn't need to go down here anymore. That's glass maker. Oh, yeah. That's glass makers and light bulb factories. I don't have those down here. So that can actually come out, and we can replace that with something different. Uh, what can we put in his place? Let's take a look and see what we've got here. Clock makers, framework knitters, and fur. Carpentry, cab assemblies. There's Johan the Inventor. We could do that and get a gramophone factory, a gramophone thing down here as well. That is a uh, that's a possibility of something we could do. Uh, spectacle factories, glass makers, and light bulbs again. Yeah, I don't really have anybody like that would be. There is a person for the spectacles that I really do need and try to get down there or move some of my spectacle factories down there. This guy right here, it's only 5% more. Yeah, I think we'll leave everything as is at the moment, except we do want to go ahead and get another gramophone in. Because that is one that I noticed is going down just a bit oh, it would fit in here rather nicely actually should fit in perfect right there and we do have space right here for it Go right there. Hmm. That is gonna eat up more brass, though. Untold perils await us. Yeah, I don't. Well, we don't need it right now. I'm not gonna do any more investors. Need to need to hold off. I'm I'm doing okay on them. Let's check this real fast. We're under the weather. Message in a bottle. Castaways request your help. Uh, let's match. Let's map the islands. Let's navigate closer Look, to the islands. The and what did we get? Please give me somebody good. Uh, the master craftsman. Oh, God, I already have one of him. I'm going to refuse. Sorry, dude. You go on about your own way. You're pretty useless to me. Pirate hunt. It's no mere uh, baptism of fire. Let's cut through the jungle. Okay. Yeah, I just, I don't know what I'm going to do with that gramophone. It's probably going to go down here, which means we're going to have to do a little, uh, a little rearranging, just because that is such a big building. The furthest away you could go is, like, right over in this area, so I have to, I have to think about that whenever I decide that we need it. Beyond that, there's nothing else really pressing that we are going to need built. We're not making our own pocket watches or jewelry. I just don't care about penny farthings. 
Well, how are we on spectacles? Are we okay on spectacles right now? Eh. Could be better. Artisans and fur coats. Fur coats is one of those things that's just... We're actually okay on fur coats. And I think I preemptively built some extra... Yeah, we've got plenty of sewing machines. Okay, so that means I can just build now. But where do I want to build to? You know what? Let's have a little fun with this one. Let's see. Let's try to move everybody down just a touch here. Go something like this. something kind of interesting here. Okay. I love the fire service. They help me a lot. Actually, we'll put that right there. That's the going price for contraband. Move some of these around just a bit more so I can pull a road right through there. That's what I want. That'll work. Now. What do I want to use to kind of decorate this area out a bit? Let's grab our... Uh, let's grab some trees. Let's do a uh, high-density forest right here. Okay. Do a bit of a forest right there. We love you. Make sure that they have access. Yeah, they're still good on all of that. Wonderful. And we do have a few odd and in spots right here that we Game need to fill safe. in some stuff. Whoops, went a little crazy with the uh, mouse right there. This little spot right here, these are going to be workers. Ah, sorry about that. I keep a momentous occasion going up with it. Put that in for the moment, and we'll just kind of see how it turns out. So this it's is ready for the, the actual expi uh, exhibition. I'm gonna, up I'm gonna randomly upgrade a few of these guys. kind of scatter a few artisans around. There we go. Just a few. These guys will get upgraded to workers once they're full. This little spot right here. What could we do with that? We turn this around this way. That's better. And then this little thing right here. What do we have? I'm trying to think what what things I've seen that would that I could do right there. I mean, you can even do something as random as you know a silo right there. Just a very random silo, but you know, I guess it works. And then underneath it. Let's do... We can't do a shrub on that tile. But we could do a random tree right there. Okay, that's not the tree I was looking for. Oh god, now I gotta try to take that tree out. Okay, let's just get an actual tree then. That fish 
There we go. A tree growing up. Like it's an like it's an old silo right there. Maybe it's unused and it's got an old tree growing out of the side of it. That's what I'm gonna say. Now this right here is an awkward area because of the way it's uh, because of the spacing on it. It's a very awkward spot to build on. Let's see, it's just nothing quite fine has fits ended. right. But we'll try to make the most of it. We will be so much stronger together. Well, I'm sure we would be, but I don't care. Go away. Whoops, wrong button. Want the road right there to come right to here. Kind of block that off. Then maybe, uh... So that does fit perfectly across there if I did that. Leaves me another little 2x2, two two, and that leaves me a spot for... For what? One tile too big for that. Would fit a brewery, but I'm not making any beer for any of these people. I mean, I guess I could make some beer. But I really don't care about making beer either. Beer is just not something I ever really cared to make. Oddly enough, the steelworks would fit. And it, actually, it would kind of fit this area of town. You know, and kind of what it is. Just a dingier worker's town. You know what? I'm gonna do it, but we're gonna pause Taking it for right now. But I'm gonna move the uh, the church to the kind of compensate. Opens. Oh, expedition has returned. What we get? No captain could ask for more. All right, so we have. Oh, we got the narwhal. Narwhal, narwhal, swimming through the ocean. Yes. Let me, uh, I'm gonna bring up my, there's my spreadsheet from yesterday for that I made. Let me mark off Narwhal. That way I know I have it. It is from the Polar Circle. Oh, I'm so excited to have that one. But now what did that one do? Um, oh yes, that was actually a good one. Uh, cloth Industries have plus 25% production and minus 25% maintenance cost. Yes, please. Not too many changes. Okay. Thank you, Invincible. Uh, these are actually all really good, but I am loving running the uh, minus 10% consumption. So we're going to keep going with that. Of course. You Let's get those upgraded to workers. Uh, before I go and start building the new, should be lined up for what they done. <laughs> before I go start building the new uh, zoo for the polar ice collection, I would well, I want to get some of these houses right here the shifted around. Celebrate your leadership. I want to move the church up to there. A great moment for all of us. Oh, and the pirates have returned too. There we go. Okay. All right. What did we get? Please give me give me something good. Something. I've gotten jack from these lately. Crap. Meh. Okay. Crap. Got nothing but junk from these things. Uh, we do have another two-star pirate hunt. I'm going to go ahead and send the Nebuchadnezzar on, so let's assign him to that. Uh, Cape Trelawney, Nebuchadnezzar. I'll never get seasick. Items, ship. Let's go ahead and get Captain Richard Moses, skipper of schooners. Uh, let's toss in this, that, and Drew Darnell. Okay. I want to take um, 
Give me some bread. So there's medicine, diplomacy, navigation, hunting. Uh, maybe you want to toss in a bit of faith. Yeah, let's toss him for him for some faith. All right, let's send him on out. Uh, who was that? I had an item in there I didn't recognize. Oh, that's right, it was her. Professor Iwa Ibashi, pioneer of the radioactive. Yeah, she's mostly going to be a uh, expedition chick. Yeah, well, that's, 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 I shouldn't say chick, sorry. She's an expedition lady. That's what she is. She is an expedition lady. Okay, that's a bit better. I like that church being more centralized up there. Hope the conveyor! Now, this right here, again, would be another fun spot to have some silos in. But it's not going to go in as nicely, is it? No, so maybe not. No wonder. I did this kind of weirdness. And then let's go into our worker tab here. Let's grab out that. That'll work. And this right here, yeah, I'm not feeling that. I was wondering how that was going to look, and it looks like I don't like it. Let's just put in a little row of grass right there. Give him a little small yard. Okay. This little part of town right here is looking much nicer. This city is a magnet for genius. Magnet for genius? Okay. Rodrigo, Ranchero, meh, whatever. Okay. So... I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to pause the recording. I'm going to go in and kind of fiddle around with a layout up here um, on this section of the island. Maybe finish laying out a few things down here and just get some layouts happening and see what I like, what I don't like. And then I will come back when I'm done world. and kind of show you what we've what I've laid out. And then we'll go from there. So I will see you all in just a minute. All right, guys, we're back. Oh, I know that's kind of a uh, hard transition. There is actually no way for me to uh, soften the transition. Is literally start, stop, and start. So, sorry, that's all I could do about it. The recording software only allows me to do that. But, you know, small limitations aside, this is what I've worked on. I have gotten this all laid out, I've gotten roads laid out, start of a housing area right here. And I've kind of filled in this little spot right there. I took out the lighthouse. I wasn't I wasn't exactly feeling it out here in the water anymore. So I think we may do something with it right here on the edge. Um, but to kind of get started right here, got all of our houses in here. We're just waiting for them to all get up to workers because this is going to be a lot of mostly artisans right through here. Artisans with a few workers uh, maybe along the edge. Maybe we can just a few sporadic workers here and there like that. If you pop off now, you'll be back in time for tennis. Uh, yeah, I don't now, want that. now. them up like that okay then we're going to go around each of these guys and we're going to start with this we'll put one more right there okay yeah, something like that. You'd only wear me to the Then we're gonna go in and take out a few select areas and put in some things like water troughs. Uh, maybe we'll toss in a well somewhere. We've got some wells we can put in. Maybe 
give them a well. A nice little community water trough right there. Actually, instead of that, instead of that with the fence around it, we'll go under workers right here. And just get the regular trough. There we go. Let's do the same thing back over here where we did that. We'll take out the, the one with the fence around it. And we'll just give them a regular watering hole. Okay. Yeah, that'll do. I like it. Just kind of add something a little different in everything. Just kind of, just kind of break things up a small bit. I'm gonna put a cannery over there. Oh, we don't. We do know we'll need a hospital for these guys. So let's. Uh, let's get them. Oh, well, they do have a hospital right there, actually. Yeah, I don't I don't need a hospital. They've got one right there, and there's one right there. So they're okay on hospitals. We've got police coverage, and we've got some fire coverage. So that the fire coverage and the police is fine. Now, maybe I'll do a little zoo right here, actually. That's what I want to do. Let's do a small zoo. Let me think real quick. Don't have enough art. Uh, I do have enough for the Jurassic for the museum, but, but that is not where I want a big museum. It's it's saying more that it needs a small zoo right there. Ocean predators we're not gonna do. Was it the polar circle? Was that the one I was thinking about doing? Let's take a look and double check. Yeah, the polar circle. Let's do that. Put that in right here. So this city is a magnet for genius. We'll start it right here, maybe. Let's see what we got. Georgina Duffy to call your bluffy. Oh God. Oh dear. Well, that is it. She's actually is pretty good, but that's a no that's a horrible name. Trade. Oh my god. Okay, so we need six. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, Game six. Save. Okay, everything for polar ice, polar bear, narwhal, the great auk, an walrus. In one of your I heard that one explode. Jeez, I heard that thing go off. In one of your factories. Dang. All right, Arctic fox. And ringed seal. Is that it? Yep, that's it. Polar circle. So now all of our cloth industries, wherever I have one, somewhere. There we go. Caged birds to sing. Plus twenty-five percent. We careen into the unknown. I might be able to knock this down if I take them down to zero. And I just reset their working status. What does that do? That puts me... I knock it up just by to 25%. Whoops, wrong button. Okay, that gives me a, just enough. And I have more than enough of these. I can actually get rid of some. I've got three, I've got two there, and I've got one back here. Let's get rid of this one. Still have plenty. Okay, good. So now we have two. 
Now, what is that going to do for our... So we need 40 wool. So we're making... We get 41. So, yeah, we're great on that. Oh, wait. Furs. Fur is always the, uh, the trouble problem. So, 30... So we need 30 furs to, oh wait, wrong thing. <laughs> no, not New World, Arctic. All right, so four, eight, 12, 20, or 20. And we need 30. I'm also making some somewhere else, right here. So that's 30. So we're right at 30. And that was coming from right here? Yeah. You keep it and that's also with a plus 50%. Okay. Let's come down here and do some adjustments to this place. Just to be sure we always have plenty. So that right there should give me now 13. Okay, now we have enough fur coming in to cover it all. And we have a lovely new little exhibit. Which needs to be adjusted. Actually, I'll take it back. Let's do that one there. That one's fine there. That one's fine there. Okay, so those are all fine now. The fire did that. has been vanquished. Yeah, that'll do. Can move it back by one. Trying to get it to where it's, you know, not completely. There. That'll work. I like it. Seductive charts, bury my desk. Now let's add in roads here. Kind of get one uh, some stuff started. I'm not entirely sure how I want the layout of this to be. Okay, that kind of gets something started. Oh, we have our first visitor at Las Baranderas. We have a travel agent. Okay. I'll take her. So yeah, there's a, a, a kind of a basic layout for this place. Not entirely sure what the final layout of it's going to look like. Alright, get these in. And some end pieces. Alright. There is our next zoo, which I will spend a little time later fixing up and making it look really pretty and everything. But at least that gets our zoo laid out right there. So I'm happy with that. These are all ready to upgrade to workers. Lovely. Uh, for right now, until I know what I'm going to do... I just gotta have some greenery. Let's just get some trees in the center of those. I can tell you right now, I'm gonna want that to go there. Yeah. And I'm gonna want that right to there. Okay. Yeah. So that's, there we go. That's better. That was a little, 
it was looking a little wild even for me so that that's a little bit nicer looking nice big open zoo right there on the coast everybody's got to have a little a little entertainment it gets us up to uh, 6584 not too shabby What am I missing up here? I'm missing a town hall. Oh, goodness gracious, I'm missing a town hall. Your city has grown uglier. Right here would be a great spot for him. Okay, let's get some of my stuff in here. We're going to get one of those. We're going to get one of those. Get one of her. And we'll get us a book. Lovely. some roads around it. We're going to move the police station up there next to it, I think. Now this right here is not completely even, so that might be a good spot for like a, uh, a factory or something to go right there. Because I do have this uh, kind of oddly placed warehouse at the moment. Who are you? Oh, you're just a random traveler on the road okay you're just a random traveler I no idea I was so prolific storage is full okay okay let's just get a few houses around there can't fit a house right there, unfortunately, or on this side of it. I mean, I could if I brought the zoo in a little bit, which I might do that just so I can have room to put another row of houses right there. Yeah, I like this. I'm always looking at it from different angles and stuff, and right now I'm just going to filled everything in with some trees until I decide how I'm going to let the uh, other sections of town come together. Move those down here now and away from this part, which I don't know what's going on right here. really want to smash the zoo in but I may just do it just so I can get some more another row of houses in right there game save all right let's uh take out this part and we will copy this part and put it right there. And then take out that. Move some roads around. Come on. Okay, so that's all the houses I can fit. I can fit in a couple more houses. Ah, right, this thing right here. Need to finish connecting it back up. Okay. And for the sake of trying you to keep things somewhat similar, we'll fossil. do that. Okay. So, goals for this area right here, mostly going to be residential, an artisan district with a nice little zoo, and a few odds and ends. So I'm going to go ahead and pause again, kind of spruce this area up a little bit, get some things upgraded, and we'll come back and see what the final product looks like. Alright guys, welcome back. So, I have gone around and spruced this right here up just a little bit. We've got our zoo looking rather lovely. I put in a, uh, these are my 
favorite botanical ornaments right here the topiary gardens and the there's so many varieties there's i just i love the variety that right there is so cool looking to me <laughs> with the with the squares and that right there almost looks like a christmas tree and a fountain a, a bear uh, there's a guy there's a statue of a man and then there's this one that just looks awesome so yeah super happy with those so i put one of those right in the middle fixed it up a little bit used uh actually this is all with uh this is all with just default ornaments i did not i didn't do anything crazy this is all just default stuff right here so yeah i'm pretty happy with how this little area right here has turned out this little zoo upgraded a bunch of these guys into artisans and some workers and some workers that looks like artisans and i did the same thing with these guys over here with the black rooftops even though they're workers i'm kind of imagining that maybe they're more um like wealthier merchants and stuff and wealthier wealthier artisan level people in with their private yards and stuff right here on the coast being able to look out and see the ships coming in and the ships coming into port and all that which reminds me i completely forgot a building i was talking about putting in where is that thing it's under farmers it's under here there it is a lighthouse almost forgot the lighthouse let's see where do i want that thing Okay, you know what? Let's do it this way. Let's take out one of these houses. It's not going to kill me. I have plenty. Oh, wrong one. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. You know, and it needs a little house right there. So let's, I believe there are some, oh yeah, there's some nice looking little homes under this. Okay, those aren't the nice homes. Where'd they go? We can make our own little lighthouse. Okay, these will work. Let's see, where do I want them? Ah, shoot, I had the right mouse button clicked. Ah, lost it. There it is. Okay, let's put him there. Let's go under some of our little nom forest right here, and maybe let's put in a maybe some nice little flower beds in the back. These fabled lands exist after all. Give him some flowering shrubs. He's got some nice gardens and stuff around. There we go. There you go. He's got some nice little gardens and stuff back there. And yes, there's a garden gnome. I'm sure someone might have spotted it. <laughs> yeah, there's a little garden now. So yeah, there's the little lighthouse and the little lighthouse keeps built home. Yeah, perfect. I like it. It's looking rather lovely. So now we've got most of all this filled in other than a few uh, open spots I'm leaving for possible factory expansions or maybe some uh, rearranging later on. But otherwise, I'm thinking it's starting to get there. We're, we're getting ready to expand into these islands, and I'm considering doing what I did last time um, with these three islands right here. I did a really neat layout where I kind of follow the contours of the islands. I may do something similar with that. I'll think about it, or maybe you may want to see me do something different. We have a bunch of influence available to us again. I have swapped over to the plus 10 influence per zoo module for the time being eventually we will get the right to remain act but i wanted i was running the one reward from world's fair copy? but i decided to do the conservation act instead uh, let's check this one more time. time oh oh heavens I, I, okay. are you sure anything else 
Anyways, that yeah, I'm running time. the plus 10 influence per zoo module. That basically makes the zoo modules free. And, and then the free ones that you get at the beginning, because you get like a certain number of them for free, actually give you influence again. So basically all of our zoos don't cost us any influence anymore. Oh, we could do this one. Oh, that's going to it's going to kill our attractiveness if we go that. That would be so nice though. I got to do something else for attractiveness. Other than that, I'm definitely always going to keep the Coastal Reforms Act. The plus 1 slot for town halls is way too strong. It is really really strong. So yeah, I think we're pretty good on palace stuff for the time being. So with that, guys, I'm going to sign off and we will see you all in the next one. Until then, take care.